Those are just the days where I just kind of like stop playing. <laughs> Once you realize like you've been on this on the same team for like 12 matches in a row and you just lose over and over again. It's just kind of time to put the game down and come back with some play with some fresh people. Uh, I haven't played uh, Rising Storm Vietnam in probably close to a month. So that just seems to be the way it goes. You're either like completely annihilating the other team or you're getting annihilated yourself. There's no in-between. Okay, the exit could be anywhere. I'm terrified. <laughs> this is a bad idea. Do something on board the ship. More octopus. More slug gel. Never stop. Get messy. Fix mistakes. Plug the plug the hull. Through the clearing in the nebula here, you can see a large water planet from which there appears to be ten separate distress calls. A large cubicle structure can be seen from the planet's surface. It's inactive, and you can't tell what it is from a distance. Pull in closer. Yes, get closer to the monolith. It appears that all the distress beacons are originating from the same area, a large crater with a massive shipwreck. The structure you noticed earlier begins to unfold, revealing itself to be a large gun. You won't have much time until it starts firing on you, so you have to pull away now if you want to avoid damage. We can take a few hits, pull in closer to inspect the wreck. Uh huh. How much damage will this do to us? I'm very curious. Let's inspect the rank. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, seven damage. Kinda bad. But I think we can we can tank that. We'll find a shot. We'll be fine. While the giant cannon charges, you investigate the wreck. It's huge, probably the size of one of the Rebel Fleet ships, if not a little bigger. Suddenly a giant beam fires from the structure, tearing through the ship's engines. Continue. It's quite the scratch, but you'll be able to fix it. You find a crashed light bulb with an engineer inside, surprisingly still alive. Once they're stabilized, you figure you might as well investigate the area around them. Right. Investigate the crash site. Ah, uh, map data. I would like that a lot. A gigantic Leviathan-class creature patrols the waters around the wreckage, but you're able to sneak around. Though most of the ship is on fire, you find a lot of random fire extinguishers lying around, a tablet-like device with sector maps, and a hangar bay with some mech suits. Ooh, can we get the mech suits? I don't want them as scrap, I just want the mech suits. That sounds really good. Uh, we're gonna grab the map data. A female voice comes from the device saying something about emergency mode, but you ignore it and download the data. Congratulations, you now have a multiverse... Uh, malware. Multiverse malware. This engineer seems pretty good. Takes less damage from fires, learns repairs even faster. Nice to have you around, at least. I guess we could throw you in the weapons for now. Alright. The exit was right next to us. Okay, so <laughs> wasn't necessary at all. In fact, I still can't even see the Rebel fleet. I'm scared now. Beacon quarters appear to be very close to a nearby sun, so let's avoid that. Experiencing an ion storm. It doesn't seem like there's any shops or anything in here, which makes sense. It's an abandoned sector. Go down here and then go around. I don't feel good about wasting a uh, a jump. I'll check out these two. Yeah, we can get to there. So we'll go and explore these. Should be okay. Can we double dip? Can we get a chance to... No. I was hoping that maybe we could use the jail again. Ah, now they're on their way over. Okay. You notice an unusual amount of static over your radio. You play with a bit until suddenly you transfer your translator switches on and begins to spit out dialogue from a dynasty ship concealed nearby. We are but hopelessly disoriented, you brainless bobalone? Bobaline? Oh close thine mouth, you worthless bes beast be Good lord. My <laughs> I can't formulate the words. We have no brains, we are but gas. The senseless debauchery of the insults will present us no solution. Offered to escort them. 
Oh, Reaper Swede Travesty, you are Federation. We shall take no help from you, Bean. This wasn't the reaction you expected, but if you can force them into surrendering, perhaps they'll finally be willing to take your help. Um, how can we force them into surrendering? I don't think beating them over the head is going to really help. Let's repair our ship just a little bit. Ah, we've also got a chain gun. We do have one of these. Powerful beam toggle drone that can switch between fire and anti-hull modes. I like the sounds of that. Uh, let's drop down our healing. Turn on our phase. Weapon, I suppose. That takes a long time to charge, so it doesn't matter. 9.9 seconds. Holograms, huh? Let's get you moving fast, too. What is this? Uh, T like a phantom. I mean, a suffocation fires and ignores doors. I see. That seems scary. Gonna be a problem real fast. Let's uh, hit your weapons. We can. Oh, that's real slow. <laughs> there we go. Didn't do too much. Let's turn auto fire on. First time we've had to use that. Get you guys healed up real quick, please. I'm real scared of that chain gun there. Although it looks like I really shouldn't be. Not too scared anyways. Oh no, here it goes. Now it's starting to rev up. Can we actually even get all of our crew in there? No. Alright, here you've got a point, and you've got a point, so it doesn't matter really who gets in there. Oh, okay, so they've got no oxygen in there, either. How's the slug still- oh wait, that's us. <laughs> Uh-oh. Uh, bad. This is bad. You guys gotta- gotta hurry up on that. Oh, here it comes. Here comes the pain. Pause real quick. Looks like you decided to kill all the crew rather than give them a chance to surrender. All that remains is some scrap for the taking. Yeah. And we're probably gonna die. No, we're good, we're good. As long as I don't misclick. Jesus Christ. You know, it was worth it. <laughs> it's better than the me. Get that fire out. Oh, my butthole puckers every time I do a boarding. <laughs> I'm really not used to this. It's a harrowing experience. Who else over here is damaged? You and... Save your positions. I don't know if we were running on one shield. I think maybe because we got ionized at one point. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, we need, we need 130 for that. 120. We're very close. Although, after that, I probably want to upgrade this a little bit. Next, we should probably go for weapon control. Yeah. 
Maybe we can have both of these up and going. I think we sh I think we could hit a bunch of uh bunch of stops. I'm gonna avoid all the uh the hazards. Cause I don't like those so much. The nebula at this beacon is thinner than usual. A pirate station operating nearby, though it doesn't appear to receive much business. Ask them to trade. Attack them. Um. No, I'm feeling kind of cheeky. Uh, we could probably attack them. They do have a drone system. That's kind of concerning. I don't see too many weapons on here. Let's attack them. <laughs> Let's go for it. Why not? Sure. The station is run by filthy pirates and was likely stolen. You'll be doing justice by killing them. Do some last minute checkups. Uh, yeah, let's repair our ship just a little bit. Alright, you actually don't have that much going on. This drone here is kind of scary. So boarding right away doesn't seem like a good idea. It does and doesn't. We want to hit their med bay more than anything. So we're going to wait, I suppose. You don't actually do any damage to our shield. Oh, that's a double, that's a triple burster, okay, that could be a problem. And this should go through our both shields. Shield piercing of two as well, right? What if we hit your weapons? Okay, so that's actually only a double burster. Can't quite hit both. both. Alright, perfect. Wait for that to go off. That was a breach. I like to hear that. Let's jump in. Oh, they've got their own uh, battle drone. I see. Okay. Well, we can play at that. In fact, I need you to hurry up a little bit. <laughs> I'm losing sight of what's going on. How are we looking? We're looking okay-ish. Uh, I forgot my own laser was going off. Oh, good lord. Get out of there. I don't know if that does crew damage or not. Got a second here. Uh, let's abandon ship. Sounds good to me. Uh, <laughs> our own ship's not looking so great. My bad. Uh, people are dying. My people specifically. Okay, we did drop off our our engines for a second here. Well, I think about what I need to do. You need to run over here, and then you need to replace him in here. Okay. Bring 
that back online. Take up our shield until that happens. Uh, I think we're good to go. Has the, did you stun a battle drone? Is that possible? What's left in here? Now that's it, it's just the battle drone, isn't it? Do we have to destroy the ship somehow? Ah, uh, no, there's a phantom on here, I see, okay. I see, I see. <laughs> Our crew's doing pretty okay. All things considered. Um, let's jump into their shield room and force them to come to us, yes. There's another robot. Wouldn't be much of a problem, though. Yeah, we're a pretty powerful boarding force. Pirate ship will no longer torment the sector. You scrap the remains. 36 scrap is pretty good. That's all we got, though, huh? I was hoping for a little bit more. We are dangerous. <laughs> it feels good. Let's check out this uh, drone here. Fire and anti-hull modes. Anti-hull would be nice. Causing hull breaches. We need to repair our ship. That's... Uh, Big priority number one next. A large blip on the radar is detecting a massive ship moving around this nebula. Its giant size suggests it may even be a fleet ship. Do we want to look for a giant fleet ship? Sure. You dive deeper into the nebula and are swatted out of the way by a giant tail. Luckily, no harm comes to the ship, but you're left in a shock. The object you detected was no fleet ship at all, but rather a humongous space whale. Explore the insides of the whale. Oh my god. <laughs> wow, how majestic. Let's leave. Now, immediately. No, engage the nostril. Let's go. Luckily, space whales are so large that you can easily explore inside them. It seems another ship is exploring this whale, or maybe they're just a victim of the whale's immense appetite. But a nasty pirate ship locks on you and attacks. Okay. <laughs> okay. They don't look too dangerous. It looks like they have a missile launcher, but we should be fine to deal with that. Let's do nothing for right now. It looks like another small ship. Actually, quite a small ship. We're gonna have to send in both our mantis. Or do the uh, do they spill out into the other rooms if we send them all? Why don't we uh, get the mantis up first? Uh, guys? Put the slugs in there, and that should work the way I tend it to. Yeah, it sends everybody in. Okay. Uh, slugs go to shields, you mantis hit up the weapons instead. Seems fine. That's a very scary glow you got going on there. That seems like a bomb. No, it's a missile. Okay. Let's hit these two. Because we can. Oh, that's a breach. That's a breach weapon. That's not too scary to us. It does a lot of damage, though. I think that did three damage to us. How are slugs looking? They look okay. Forgot to use your uh, pheromones. Hey, you guys aren't so scary. You guys ain't scary at all. Kill him! Slap him with your high stocks. Proving yourself an efficient murder of pirates. The ship is yours to sell. 
Unfortunately, didn't have that much to salvage anyways. What about the space whale? <laughs> Tell me more about the space whale. You guys are actually fine, that's right, you weren't in combat. Saved you up. You took a giant seed pod at the face. I've never seen such bravery and valor before. You're doing this doing this pleasure cruise a ginormous service. <laughs> We were constantly looking over the window, check for hostiles, jump at every creek and moan at the ship. Tension is almost palpable. You gotta let off some tension there. Do something on board the ship. Perform a task. No, that's not. Uh, use the augments. What do we got? We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This will be our last crew member we could adopt. Unfortunately, I can't let you do that, Dave. But I will let you exude some goo to fix the ship. How about that? That's always relaxing, isn't it? Uh, we can do two more jumps, I think. Get here, 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 and here. And be on our way. Our ship is more goo than anything now. It's more goo than metal. This beacon appears to be empty, but you de you're detecting a very weak, leaping encrypted signal from the nebula. Every slug decodes the signal. Absolutely. The signal is difficult to decode, but you're able to break it. It appears to be the location for a pirate cache on a nearby planet. How did your quest marker to the next sector? The next sector? Ah, okay, yes. Not the next beacon. The next sector. We can still explore a, quite a bit in this area, I think. We could maybe even hit three more jumps. Well, four, technically. One, two... Three, four, we could hit a lot, I think. Question is, will we survive all these hits, all these jumps? At first, you assume the static over the radio to be nonsense, but suddenly your translator starts to pick up words. A breather. In Dynasty Space, how putrid. It turns my insides into coils of anger. I will unleash hell on your skill. Continue. Let's uh, throw up some more repairs. Oh, hello, drones. So we can't board you. Boarding is a non-option. Well, I mean, we can, but it'll be really dangerous. In fact, it looks like you're gonna board us anyways. Let's see if we can catch up to you. Going to weapons? We could set our butler up there. We got, we got enough drum parts. Yeah, let's do that. Look at you uh, kill him real fast. Did he make it back? Doesn't look like it. Um, yeah, hit their weapons. Try and go for him. You know, we can hit our own robot, that's fine. Yeah. There we go. And, uh, put drones, I suppose, why not? Take them down a little bit. Yeah, our robot looks fine. <laughs> I'm not getting hit right, yeah, we look fine. We've heard that the ghosts have a most horrible odor to them, and you couldn't be more glad there's no air inside the dynasty ship to carry the scent as you scrape it. As you scrape it, scrape it, scrap it. Okay, so we got a good setup to deal with the uh, ghosts. Got 
boarding butlers and uh, all sorts of goodies. What do we desperately need? More shields. <laughs> I'm thinking more shields. One, two, three, yeah. We might be able to get our shields here if we're lucky. I'd we'll find some power for them or something. Newton knows what brings this rebel ship so far out. It's Captain Hales, but it does a double take from the Eden Phaser ship. They open fire. Right into it, huh? So you got a bomb. Looks like a glaive beam and a single blaster. Alright, don't scare me. Not a lot, anyways. How's our action look? I don't look okay. I think we'll be okay. As long as they don't hit us. Open up all the doors, spread the oxygen around. Alright, send a butler bot over and let's board. Shields. Yeah, they're all gonna run in here, which is fine. They do have a med bay. Let's get you going off real fast. Um, wait, no, they don't have med bay. What am I talking about? In fact, let's get you to attack the weapons and get the robot in here instead. Maybe he can stun some of these guys for us. Yes, perfect. Yeah, we gotta get rid of that weapon real fast. Hopefully this won't hurt our young guy. Nope, we're good. Okay. Keep the weapons offline. As much as possible. You stay there. Our crew's looking okay. Gotta put a point into oxygen. It's starting to go down a bit here. Oh yeah, we're gonna feed kills on this guy real fast. <laughs> Let's get you out of there. Easy as pie. Nothing special to grab. Ah, oh, four points away. I can't, I really can't think of anything I really want to add to the ship. Maybe like a drone arm, start making use of this Hellfire drone or something. Or just more drone power in general. You got smacked face jacks again. What a trooper. Maybe some more dodge. What is our dodge currently? Oh, 25%. Yeah, that's not super. I'm going to hold off, though. I want the uh, the shield upgrades. Then we'll work on dodge. Another rebel ship. I do nothing. What do you got? What do you got? You got nothing. You got nothing. I'm going to go down that way. You sure that's where you want to go? It only leaves two people on your ship. Pathetic. In fact, we'll throw our own butler bot on them as well. You hurry up. Kill. Hit their weapons. Ugh. Okay, that wasn't so bad. Uh, another drone bay. In fact, why don't you go and help out take out the weapons? Oh, this is gonna hurt. <laughs> For every rebel ship you kill, 
We like to think that all the Federation officers and billions you have indirectly saved, another full crew of rebels dead, another crew of innocents you've saved. Absolutely. Except for our own. We tow the line every time we board. I'm not sure if I'm using that phrase correctly. No, you belong down there. Let's uh, save positions. Alright. Shields level 2, more power. Throw up on engines. <laughs> Don't throw up on them, but throw them up higher. Reactors on high. And I think it's time to leave the nebula. We discovered the ex exit beacon. Once the FTL drive is charged, you'll be able to leave the sector. Right. Check the storage. More goo. Where are we going next? Free Mantis domain and the Crystalline domain. Rough. Very rough. Um, I don't want to deal with rockets so much. Missiles. Or big tanky rock men <laughs> with lots of HP. Well, boarding crew is pretty good, but... Then we're going to be at a little bit more of a disadvantage with that. I guess we'll just have to go and uh, have some, spire, some space pirate battles over here in the Three Mantis Domain. Very swashbuckling adventure. Your journey to the next sector should hopefully remain uneventful. Dead space, as it's called, is the territory between sectors and is known to mostly be empty. The Free Mantis have captured the sector from the Zoltan. Though their addiction to pheromones may degrade their intelligence, the Free Mantis are exceedingly loyal to the Federation. Maybe we could even pick up another Free Mantis Mantis here. Although, uh, our space is kind of filled up. The Free Mantis have no interest in the hive mind of the Mantis community, allies of the Federation. You will likely find aid on them. Here. Contact the guard. The young free mantis we waves to you. Hello, you're a federation. So exciting. I love federation. So glad to see you here. Yes, yes. Request a warrior to come join your crew. Oh, you see as <laughs> simple as that, huh? Uh, human crew, request assistance. Uh, let's get another warrior to come join us. Why not? You needing soldier? Oh, most certainly. I come with you. Perfect. Click to go down one page of crew, you can also use the scroll wheel. Ah. Uh, I imagine the update was, uh, gives you an option to feel all of your crew on one screen. Because that'll be a little bit cumbersome going. Can I, like, swap them around? Ares. Ares, arise. Is a pilot and does shields. What are you? Dangler? Dangler, get out of here. Let's get you in. That's boarding. Ah, that's a shame. I wouldn't mind if like, it stuck out even to the side a little bit. I wish I could rearrange them though, because um, hitting their special powers be a little bit cumbersome. Merchant all the way down there, and there's the quest. Oh man, that's so far away. <laughs> We can't repair the merchant either. That's a that's a pirate cash. I think that's what that was. I guess we can go around like that. We'll hit here, here, hit this, and then go around like this, and probably hit here. We'll skirt the bottom of the sector. A confident rebel captain of the nearby multiverse ship boasts about his abilities of tracking you down. Swiftly gives the crew orders to attack. You figure you should do the same. Nah, just make yourselves a tea first. We got we got this. We got this pretty settled. You do have a boarding, okay. You have a boarding station. What are we dealing with? Um, that looks like a missile launcher. No bueno. We're gonna immediately go in there, huh? Let's board ourselves into the weapons. And 
immediately I want you to go super mode and hit their shield so they kind of get distracted. Okay. Also, yeah, you go super as well. Go <laughs> super saiyan for me. And we're gonna blast this with our... Hopefully and sun them a little bit. That wasn't quite enough. Please do some damage. Get the thing offline. Good god. Uh, get off weapons and get in the engines. Holy crap. That does some damage. Get you down here. Actually, you're probably gonna be able to out heal, yeah. That's fine. In fact, we can even use our laser on you. Yeah, there we go. Start hitting their oxygen. I basically want to keep that, uh... I want to keep those weapons down. In fact, we can throw some, uh, oxygen back on now. Actually, don't need to hit... keep hitting there. Should be able to kill you guys real quick. Yeah, there we go. We're fine. Yeah, he realizes and just gives up and charges in immediately. As the captain of the rebel ship collapses, says, Damn you. You guys gotta get better one-liners. 